The Morning Mess. Okay, first and foremost, I got to ask, maybe Sandy is getting to be a little bit insecure. Listen, it's time Why? for a staycation setup. Morning Mess here trying to catch up to these cheaters. Sandy, you there? I'm here. So you want to see if your boyfriend Kyle's cheating because you feel like the server, obviously you were at a restaurant, was flirting with him. Is that a little oh. bit insecure? Because I feel like sometimes servers have to be a little flirty to get that tip. Right. Oh, well. Well. <laughs> well. There's definitely more to it than that. Like, I'm definitely not that person who okay. just immediately thinks that, like, every social interaction is a threat. But, like, Kyle and I, we were out at dinner, and it was, like, very obviously a date, you know, holding hands across the table. Him and the server? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I mean, <laughs> Like, it definitely was a date. And the worst part is that she, like, couldn't read the room, and she was obviously flirting with him and left her number on the check. Oh. She wrote her phone number on the check that your man was paying? Yeah. And, like, he laughed and crumpled it up and was like, oh, you know, huh, like, I got some digits. Like, just being silly because, like, you know, whatever. Right. So far, it doesn't sound like it's that big of a deal. So where's the part where you think that things have escalated if he was laughing it off? Well, I found that crinkled up receipt in one of the drawers in the kitchen. So he kept it. Oh. Also, coincidentally, he now all of a sudden has this brand new friend named Austin who I've never met. And I know this because, like, his phone has just been blowing up constantly. Like, he's just texting and texting. And I was just like, who are you talking to? And that's when he tells me about this Austin person. So I am just wondering if he's really texting somebody named Austin. So have you had the chance to go maybe through his phone and cross-check the phone number with the number that the server gave him? No, he keeps his phone. Like, it's always on him. And even if it wasn't, I don't even know if he has, like, a password or something. I have no idea. Like, I'm not okay. one to snoop. I'm usually not, like, super insecure. But this is, like, just a few too many red flags in a row for me. Okay. Well, I mean, you're here for the staycation setup, so we are going to be calling up your man, offering him the free romantic weekend stay, asking who he wants to bring as his guest of honor. Do you remember the server's name by chance? I do. They print the name of the server on the check, which was nice. So her name is Cynthia. Oh. And, the yeah, side and chick's like, name he doesn't right ever <laughs> give his number out for anything, or whatever, because his mother, honestly, is already the queen of signing him up for things. He, like, doesn't want free, you know, coupons, mailing lists, you name it. She's out there giving his number out. So it was said to be a gift from his mom. He totally he believe it. That. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All we need is his number from you, Sandy, and we're going to try to see if your man is literally cheating on you, okay? Okay. Take that deep breath, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be back. Staycation setup time with the Morning Mass. Okay, in the middle of a staycation setup, your Morning Mass on live. We have spoke to Miss Sandy, who went out to a dinner with her man. Very romantic dinner at that. And the server, in your mind, Sandy, was flirting with your man. So much so, when the bill came, she wrote her phone number <laughs> on the check for you guys. Yeah, and then... All of a sudden, I can't help but notice that my man's on his phone constantly texting somebody, and I know he kept the receipt because I found it, so I feel nauseated over it, so I have to know. Ooh, are you pregnant? Oh, my God. Jeez. Oh, Don't put that hate on me. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, so Sandy hates kids. Okay. Oh, God. So we are going to call Kyle up off from a free romantic hotel stay. Sandy, this is going to be an easy sell for you, Anish, because we're just going to tell him that his mom signed him up for a free hotel stay. Right. From what you said, he's going to believe that, and we'll see who he picks as his guest of honor for the romantic weekend. So, Sandy, the question yeah. is, are you ready to find out? Because there's no going back once we do this. I mean, yeah, I have to know. Right. And you did tell us the server's name was Cynthia. So keep that in mind, ladies and gentlemen, listening. If he picks Cynthia, that means he's definitely having a little side session with that server. Okay? Let's see if Kyle's ready to rush cat. <sighs> to what? To get the best cat. Okay. Stop it. Hello? Hello, am I speaking with Kyle? Yeah, who's this? Kyle, my name is Jonathan. I'm calling from the Aurora Hotel with some great news for you. So you've been selected as the grand prize winner of our free romantic weekend stay. We're putting you up in our penthouse suite with the honeymoon package. I was calling actually just to confirm some details, but I wanted to congratulate you for being our grand prize winner. I didn't sign up for any penthouse suite thing. Sorry. Oh, my apologies about that, Kyle. I believe it is your mother that had registered you for this contest that we did. It looks like you were selected as the grand prize winner. So this was the number that she had provided. I don't know if that gives you any good context or if she's talked to you about this before. Yeah, no, she probably did do that. That's my mom, right? 
Uh, <laughs> does it cost anything? Like, what did she sign me up for exactly? Actually, it does not cost you anything, no deposits, fees, or taxes. We just need to get reviews on Google and Yelp of your experience, but we can go over that in just a moment. If you don't mind, I would like to start on your reservation, and we can get some of those questions answered for you. Okay, yeah, sure. Trust me, your mom signed you up for the best experience ever. Now, with this romantic weekend stay, we start this off with a personalized note. It is addressed to your guest of honor for your romantic weekend. And I want to see if you had, like, a special message you'd like to leave for your guest. I can write that down whenever you're ready, so take your time. Oh, well, I get to bring my guest, right? Like, it's not like my mom's going to be there or something, right? Oh, my God. Well, I mean, unless you want to bring your mom for the romantic weekend. But no, this is no, ideally no, for no. special someone in your life. Ugh. Um... <laughs> Okay, let's do um, clothes are optional. Okay. I do have that down for you, Kyle. I just need your guest of honor's full name for us to continue. Cynthia. You. Hey, Kyle, we legally got to let you know you're actually live on the radio. We're the morning mess with your girlfriend, Sandy, on the line. So let me guess. Cynthia is the you've been texting all day and night. Listen, I was just trying to give them a fake name because I didn't know if it's no. a scam call. No, what you are so full of it. Stop. Cynthia's the name of the f- server that we had at Applebee's. Do not lie. Oh. You were actually, you were going <laughs> to throw that receipt away, and I mm-hmm. found that in your kitchen drawer, and obviously that's who you've been texting. So it's like, if you knew this the whole time, why didn't you just tell me? You want to f*** with me? I'm going to f*** with you harder. I want to marry her. <laughs> so, Kyle, respectfully, <laughs> with what you just said right now, are you admitting that, hey, this is what's been going on? Because Sandy has a point. Like, why did you lie? I didn't lie. Like, just like the toxic she does. I just had it. Mentally oh checked out. Oh, my God, Kyle. Shut the f*** up. Go drink a monster energy drink and punch some drywall, you stupid f***. <laughs> like, nobody cares. Obviously, there's no Austin. I wanted to meet him. I was like, yo, come to my place. I'll throw a party. We'll watch football, whatever. Like, it's going to be a good time. And you just could not. You never offered me a damn football party. What are you talking about? What? Oh, my God, Kyle. Really? That's the footnote you're going to hang on to? I hate cheaters, sir. <laughs> football? No, I hate Cheating. I, I hate lying. <laughs> I watch football all day, but I will not, and I mean ever again, spend another f-ing minute around somebody like you bling f-ing to every f-ing Applebee's server. <laughs> okay, so you're saying there's a chance, Andy, that you might want to work no! it out with Kyle or, or this is no! over. No, okay, well. I'm done with him. <laughs> messing with another girl's onion blossom. Stop! Oh <laughs> okay, so I do have counselors that I can offer if that's something you'd like to pursue for yourself or if you want to do that with Kyle, it's up to you. Hell no. And just so you know, Blooming Onions, those are Outback Steakhouse. But this <laughs> is like you take that's where they go on Tuesdays. <laughs> Applebee's is Fridays. <laughs> All right, Kyle. Well, I think it's a wrap for you since you were out back. Uh, oh, no, <laughs> with no. another woman. Kyle, you still there? Yeah. I just want to make sure I can hang up on you. Hold on. We. Hey, Sandy, you said that, girl. I applaud you, man. I haven't heard someone go off like that since, well, since my ex-wife. Oh, oh. <laughs>